Good morning, Barbara, and thanks so much for taking the time to chat with us this morning. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. So this is a time when many adults are anxious about COVID-19 and we're mm -hmm. struggling to find the balance between being informed and not being overwhelmed. I can't imagine how kids are feeling. So yeah. tell me what inspired you to create Kid COVID. Well, I have a special friend who's turning five soon and I would visit him regularly and play with him. And uh, we now have to do it through computer land and uh, he says, I want you to visit me, Barbara. I want to see you and play. And then he stopped and his eyes rolled up and he went, when the virus is gone. And that got me thinking, this must be very confusing and scary for children. And my, I wanted to, I wanted to comfort my friend and to make him laugh and, and learn, learn to empower him so he gets he can learn to protect himself from the virus and maybe other people like grandparents. So that's inspired the book. So tell me a little bit about the process of gathering the information because you want to make sure that you've got the facts right yes. and yet being able to present it in an easy and non-frightening way. Well, number one, get the facts right. So I went back to the government of Canada and, and what uh, we must do to protect ourselves. And I made a list and then I had a lot of fun. And I <laughs> pretended my buddy was with me and we were playing and all these ideas started to flow. And I checked in with other people. What would you like to see in this book? And, and then we had, we had some funny things like the hockey stick, stick suit that kept them two hockey sticks apart. And, the toilet paper was very popular. <laughs> and so then you, you sort of create a storyline and then you create the illustrations to go with it? Well, in this case, um, the, it's a little reverse. I, I would actually get a, a, a strong vision in my head um, of uh, seeing uh, the hand sanitizer spray and the movements, so almost like Spider-Man. Um, so I paint that image and then I take it from there. So this was the very first image of, uh, that's the, the front of the book. And that's the kid or a kid COVID. And I wanted bouncy uh, shoes so that the character can spring out of the virus's way. Um, and then the hand sanitizers, the spray and the mask. And something occurred to me when I drew the character. It's like the character started to talk to me and the, the character told me not to use any pronouns. The most pronoun, I don't have he, I don't have she. I have the kid or kid COVID because I really wanted all genders, whatever, to identify with being the hero. So that was an interesting discovery for me. Now, this isn't your first book. You're a longtime artist, author, illustrator, educator. What's been the early response to this one? This is interesting. Um, I, I got a fan mail a long time ago from a, a fellow who had uh, grown up with one of my earlier children's books that, that was published by Anik. And he said, I'm, I'm get this book for my, my twin daughters. So I looked him up and I said, here's a new book. Please share it freely. And he just says, I love it. I love it. This is helping me. They're housebound with nothing to do after a while. Gave them a lot of activities and ideas and helpful information. So that helps get that feedback. Well, and I have some feedback for you. I shared it with a friend of mine yesterday. And she then used it with her five and a half year old son, Callan. And this is from him. He asked, is kid COVID real? Uh, <laughs> so sweet. And, and then he asked, is the actual virus a boy or a girl? It looks like it has girl eyelashes. Interesting. 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 Yeah. Um, eight steps takes more than 20 seconds to wash your hands because he actually tried it. Interesting. Yeah. And he thought the hockey sticks were funny. Um, anyhow, and, and so mom says that needless to say, it sparked many questions and we talked about how the virus spreads and what we can do. So she's thrilled. 
oh, as a makes me happy. habit yeah. to be able to use that with her children. She's got two kids actually. Right. Um, and so I think it is a great gift that you've provided us with. Thank you. My, my feeling about the, doing this and, and, and this is for free. I'm not, I don't take any money from this, pro, this book. Um, but if anyone wants to donate, we, the Guelph Arts Council would be the recipient um, to help other artists because because we're struggling with, with uh, not having the ability to go out and tour or perform. It's very hard. Um, but I see this whole process as like a gardener. I feel I've been given a gift with the seeds, like the comic book and the, and the wisdoms in the story. And I'm I'm spreading it all around and, and I hope it will help countless families. That's my goal. So let's tell everybody where they can find it. Okay, if you can go to my website, kidcovid.ca, that's spelled K-I-D-C-O-V-I-D dot C-A. And it's there for download. Yes. Well, thank you very much for sharing your talents and helping to take some of the fear away for kids and to start the conversation within the homes of families. Thank you very much for having me and for spreading the word. Keep healthy. You too. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.